To begin our installation, before we start working on the bike itself, we're going to do a couple things to the wiring to adapt it to connect directly to the motorcycle. You're going to, first thing we're going to do is we're going to work on this piece of wiring that has a red spade, a black spade, and a white connector. Using either a razor blade or a set of wire snips, remove about an inch to two inches of this black uh, hose cover. Using a set of wire cutters, remove the spades on both the red and the black just below the part where it connects to the wiring. And these will not be reused, so just go ahead and set them off to the side. Then remove about four millimeters or an eighth of an inch of the wire cover. Then go ahead and twist the wiring. And now we're ready to attach our connectors. We're going to take the smaller end and put it over the wiring on the black wire. And then we're going to crimp it onto the wire. And then check it to make sure it's not going to come off. Now do the same thing with the other wire. And those are set. And now this set of wiring is ready to go. Also included in your kit, you have this loose white connector. You want to take a black permanent marker. And on this, there's two squares, a larger one and a smaller one. We're going to take our marker. And on the side with the small one, we're going to mark an R for red. And then on the other side, a B for black. The next thing we're going to do for this installation is going to be on the bike. We're going to be drilling a hole in the dashboard. Uh, this one has already been drilled, but the process is very simple. Here, you'll notice a, a raised plastic part. You might think this will pop out, but it's molded right into the dash. You won't be able to pry it out. What you do is you measure the distance from each side, find your center point using an 11 16 bit, either a spade bit or any other combination of bits, slowly drill a hole through. There's nothing directly behind it, so you're not going to be hitting any other wiring, but it's still be careful when you're doing this. Directly behind the part you just drilled, there is a metal square and it's reinforced all the way around and there's four pegs. What we're going to do using either a metal file or a Dremel with a sanding disc is we're going to be removing a little bit of the metal from this point over to here. The reason we're doing this is so that we can fit this ring behind and into the gap in between the metal and the plastic. Now, this has already been done, so I'll show you what you're trying to achieve. You're going to be wanting to remove the metal very slowly, because all we want to do is to be able to get this to fit in there, and once we get it in there, it won't move. That way, when we're putting our outlet through, and we're turning the outlet, this will stay put, and then it'll clamp it towards each other. So when you have enough metal removed, it'll fit in just like so. So as you're taking off the metal, just do it really slowly, do it a little bit at a time. You can notice that when I was using my file, I took a little bit of the plastic off, 
but it's it, the outlet covers it. It's not a big deal. But just take your time while you're doing it, and eventually it'll fit into place. Included in your kit, you have your outlet and the custom tool that comes with it. And the way the tool works is there's two slits, one on either side, and this fits right into those slits. And then this tool is used to rotate your outlet. Now take the rubber piece that came with the kit and fit it over the end of the wiring and push it all the way up to the outlet. Then take the wiring and feed it through the hole. And put the end of the outlet through the nut. Then make sure as it starts to get tighter that you get your rubber piece and the outlet positioned where you want it. And then finish tightening it up. And there we go. We have our outlet installed into the dash. Just below where you installed the outlet is this plastic black boot which contains a group of wires. What we're going to do is using a razor blade, very lightly use it to cut open the top and expose some of the wires. Once you do this, you'll see a black in yellow wire with a bullet a male bullet connector and you'll also see a, a, f a completely black wire with a female bullet connector these will have a clear plastic case over each of them and they should be right next to each other just about near the top so what you do is expose those and then you'll need the wiring that we modified earlier. These two bullet connectors are going to connect directly to the bullet connectors that are part of the bike. So what you'll do is you'll take the male bullet connector that you installed along with the female that comes with the bike and these will push right into each other Now you can see those two are connected. At this point, you're going to want to take your electrical tape and cover these wires. When you're covering these with electrical tape, you're going to want to do it all the way to below the bare wiring, all the way up to the plastic black sleeve on the powerlet wiring. Same thing on the other one, because we don't want anything exposed to the elements. The next thing we're going to do is retrieve the wiring from the back of the power outlet And you're going to push the black sleeve back a bit. And we're going to fit this rubber boot through this cable and push it onto the back of the outlet. That's to prevent water from splashing up and hitting the outlet. Uh, this is a pretty tight fit. It's in your benefit to put WD-40 just sprayed into this section here. That way it'll slide up the wiring easier. And you want to do it, put this through the big end first. And then push it all the way up. And then if you need a better vantage point, if you take off your windshield, the gap that's just above where it connects to the windshield 
will allow you to see right behind here. So what you'll do is just keep pushing on it until you get it back onto your outlet. It's not required, but it is recommended. Now we're going to fit the connections from the back of the outlet to the white plug that we marked earlier with red and black. You want to make sure that these tongs here in the middle, that they're pressed up so that way it'll catch on the white plug and prevent it from coming back. So you can just take a small screwdriver and push them up. Now let's go ahead and fit it to the white plug. We're going to put the red in the R side and the black in the B side. and push them until they both click. There we go. Now take that cable and connect it to the one to the wiring that we just attached to the bike. You may need to use a pair of pliers so that you can get it pressed together tight enough to get it completely secure. And now we're going to want to take some electrical tape and wrap it around just to make sure this doesn't get any water in it. Once you have the electrical tape on, it should look similar to this, with your electrical tape coming all the way from the black sleeve all the way to the other black sleeve. And then you take your other water protectant and fit that over. Once you get it on, it should look something like that. Now go ahead and take the 15 amp fuse that's included in the kit, put that in, then take the cover and put that on. And now the installation is nearly complete. Depending on the model year of your bike, it will depend on where this is going to go. If you have a model that has a side glove box just below the lip, there's a, a small screw that you can undo that, connect through the fuse holder, and then screw it back into the side, and then tuck your wiring up underneath. If you have a model that's previous to that, the 0809s, you'll have to zip tie this to the wiring that's down below. Test your, test your outlet before you hide all your wiring, and then your installation is complete.